So hi, welcome to Adelaide's um, 10 star home at Woodford. Uh, my name is Ruth, I work for Sue Home Studio Manager. This home is 10 stars, so um, the current rating system is scored out of 10. Six stars is the minimum. Um, and just to give you an idea of how important um, the star rating of the, the energy levels of these buildings are, um, a 10 star home essentially has a predicted heating and cooling load of three megajoules per metre squared, um, whereas a six star home has about 96. Um, so essentially you could power about 32 of these homes for the same power that you would power a six star home. That means you're not getting your uh, return on investment in the house, and you're out outlaying a lot of costs in terms of electric, uh, electricity and gas and so forth. But we do have data monitoring and so forth on the house, not only to tell us how much energy we're capturing with the solar panels um, and how much we're storing with the batteries, um, but how much we are using for general operation of the house and the automation as well. Okay, so in this all electric home, um, essentially what we are doing is driving down the um, demand on the grid and electricity through having an optimised envelope, having it um, highly insulated and using the passive performance of the dark concrete slab and the high level windows and the northern light that we're getting here to, in here to um, ensure that we have a very, very low or neutralised energy bills. The master bedroom is uh, facing west. Um, however, we do have some fins on the outside that are angled to reduce the amount of western light that can come in. Um, and also there is an external blind on the outside also. You'll notice also the added bonus of having such a highly insulated building and a building that performs well is it's very quiet on the inside. Uh, so throughout this building we've got thermal mass. So we've got um, strategically placed windows that allow the northern light to come in which is the smaller higher one there that you can see. Um, that also has a blind on the outside. And the western one, as I said, has a blind that comes down on the outside. Um, inside of this room, we have a lot of thermal mass still, so it's retaining its heat in winter because it's on the inside of the uh, air tightness layer, but also inside of the building. And uh, once that warms up in winter, then it retains the heat, um, and then you don't need to put on heaters, especially overnight. Uh, which also means, again, uh, less electricity also. Um, through some of the other partition walls, they're all insulated internally. And so part of this home with the partnerships is that um, the partners have supplied products for the home. Uh, we also have a couple of sponsors as well that have been involved. Um, and the advantage of that is that people can come in and see a lot of these products and they are products that are readily available as well. So we haven't chosen products that are really hard to get. Um, we've chosen to assemble it in a way that could be replicated elsewhere um, at this 10 star level uh, or uh, off the plan version actually is more like a traditional house that we currently see but highly performant um, and also uh, very very cost effective as well. Um, so one thing that I've um, been pushing recently is that if there are more homes that are actually designed like this that have no reliance on the grid um, these things like the big battery farms aren't necessarily as required, uh, or at least maybe not at the scales, and then we can have more green spaces. And I really think that Adelaide is moving towards that. We are um, hopefully trying to lead the way. So um, the HRV system was supplied by Stiebel, who is a partner. Um, it's very, very low consumption. Um, rather than having heating or cooling, so disregard your current notions about um, you know, split systems and ducted heating and all that, we don't need this here. Um, we, we get out of that mentality when we get up to a really high performing house. All we need to do is capture what natural energy is being stored inside of the house through um, particular materials like the concrete and the brickwork. Um, and also then start mixing the air and recirculating it around but bringing in fresh air. Uh, so we have a couple of other pro partners that are displayed in here. So we have some brickwork, which I'll turn around and you'll be able to see in a minute. Uh, but we also have Beacon Commercial Lighting that has supplied uh, LED lighting through the house. And also the brass fixtures and fittings that we've got in this house. 
They're actually done by CB Ideal Tapware. Um, they are located in Edwardstown, um, handmade, and don't have the chrome plating on them, so they're a lot more sustainable as well. This is a service riser, and in here you can see all the electrical cabling and so forth. So anywhere that there's a lower bulkhead, so over the laundry, um, also in the robe, you notice there was a, a lower bulkhead, and then in the lounge room, this service riser connects all through there and then all through the roof, the HRV system goes through that area as well, um, and so that we're not actually undoing the air tightness on the building. Um, essentially, you can see that we've got a lot of northern light coming into the area. Um, so again, to reduce the demand on actually having lights on even um, is, is quite low. Um, we do have an area in the lounge room which does have some recessed lights around the back end where it is a little bit darker. Um, and then again, to reduce the uh, load on the house, we've also got the external blinds that'll come down if it gets too warm. Um, so we've got some temperature sensors and humidity sensors inside um, that will operate with the house and, and bring those down automatically. Um, so you can see that there is the ABB um, pad on the wall there that actually connects to the intercom out the front. So it's got quite um, good security on this house. And um, that is essentially where the operation of the house and the home automation can be controlled from, as well as an app. Um, now we see the automation is quite an important step in terms of where buildings are going. Um, obviously because we're starting to integrate other things in the houses, um, you know, for instance, for myself, you know, having Chromecast on the TV and being able to um, control that from my phone is quite handy. Um, we're seeing a lot of inclusive environments for homes for people that can't use their arms and so forth um, so that they can operate them in other means. Um, this is the next logical step also in terms of energy efficiency because it gives transparency in terms of how, ba how uh, full the batteries are, um, how much uh, capture we are getting in the solar panels and so forth. Um, and then also the added benefit is as an occupant you can tell what your bad habits are in terms of using electricity as well. Um, into the living area, so again we've used the thermal mass, it is on the south so although this mass wall isn't getting hit by the sun and warming up necessarily in winter, although you can see the, the lighting level there with the shadow. Um, one of the questions that we get asked again about the HRV system is how obtrusive it is. Um, it, the panels on the wall, the little vents, can be painted and they're very, very small, um, so you barely even notice them. So through this house you'll notice, um, again, to reduce the amount of um, heating and cooling in the house, the, the window six seals are actually quite thick and that's indicative of how thick the walls are as well. So there's multiple layers in this, these walls. In terms of um, energy reduction, we've got behind this um, structure here we've got the heat pump from Stiegel and we've got some batteries as well um, and the inverter and car charger will be in here as well.